Hello everyone. Welcome to Mishima, Japan. Mishima? Mishima? You're thinking to yourself, Carl, I've heard of Tokyo. I've heard of Kyoto. I've heard of Osaka. I've heard of Hiroshima. I've never heard of the town of Mishima. One of your biggest mistakes. Let me give you a little bit of advice. If you come to Japan during the first week of April and you do not at least spend one night in Mishima, huge mistake. Let me spend a few minutes showing you the beautiful city of Mishima, Japan. All right, let's get to it. Here's a map of Japan. This is Tokyo, Japan. Here's Mishima. As you can see, it's not far away at all. In fact, if you hop on the common bullet train heading west, you'll make a few stops and arrive there in about one hour. And Mount Fuji is very close, right here. And if you're riding the bullet train, you'll stop at Mishima Station, which is so close to Mount Fuji, this is the view from the station itself. Mishima is this close. Now, once again, forgive my artwork, okay? I never said I could replace Leonardo da Vinci, but this map will be very helpful for this video. Let's start with a blank slate, shall we? Right here is the main train station, Mishima Train Station, otherwise known as Mishima Eki. To make this really easy to understand, we're going to call this section the north side and this section the south side of the train station. In the front of the north side, there's a parking lot with taxis and buses. These are for commuting around town. And right next to the parking lot, and I mean right across the street, is a great hotel that I use all the time. The Toyoko Inn Mishima Eki. This is my hotel of choice when I'm in Mishima, and it's a great place to stay. It's clean and literally three minutes away from the train station. I mean, seriously, how can you beat that, right? Now, on the south side of the train station, there's another section of taxis and buses. These are for tours. For example, if you want to take a bus to the fifth level of Mount Fuji, there's a bus for that right here. And across the street from the buses and taxis, the entire city of Mishima awaits you. Now, the train station has just about everything you'll need. Ticket machines for local buses and short train rides within the immediate area, tickets for Japan rail passes and bullet train rides, and a few convenience stores with lots of items that everyone can use and enjoy. The north side of the train station and the south side of the train station are conveniently connected beneath the running trains with a convenient tunnel that you can use your JR Rail Pass to access both sides. By the way, the Mishima station is small, but there's a few restaurants where you can purchase fresh bread and goodies at the train station bakery, dinner at the Fujia restaurant. You could purchase 50 different kinds of snacks and goodies for your hotel room, gifts for folks back home, trinkets, souvenirs, and much more. Now this is the north side, near my usual hotel. Boring. But when you walk through the train station and reach the south side, this is Mishima. Now, there is so much I could talk about, but I don't want this to be a 15-minute video. So I will be detailed but brief, okay? As you leave the station, you will see Mishima Rakujen, literally one block away. A beautiful Japanese garden and park charming, simple, inexpensive to visit, and a great spot to take about 10,000 selfies and brag to folks back home. You'll notice this city is amazingly clean and beautifully decorated in the springtime, with lots of shops and things to purchase anything you want. By the way, if you get lost, have no fear. There are helpful direction signs in English and in Japanese, no less. About seven blocks away from the train station, you'll notice the traditional temple area of Mishima Taisha. 
This is a real Japanese park and temple. Nothing touristy here. And this footage is what I captured during the cherry blossom season in April. Mishima Taisha even hosts a free enormous festival in April. Just look at this. Imagine walking through this. Imagine absorbing this. This is real Japan. Pure Japanese culture. Undeniable. And since early April is cherry blossom season, everyone takes photos of the beautiful blossoms. Just wow. And while you're at the festival, come with an empty stomach. More than enough food for you to handle. You'll also notice a few businesses showing off their close proximity to Mount Fuji. <laughs> I love this. I often visit a big supermarket down the street for everything I need, and there's even a 100 yen store, similar to a 99 cent store in America, just right there as well. But here is a hidden treasure that I show all of my tour members. It is amazing. Right in the middle of the city of Mishima, there's something that I call a water walkway. A stream of water that cuts through the city, and the Japanese made it truly memorable. It's a raised wooden path in the center of the stream that continues through the city for about a mile. You literally walk through the water on a wooden pathway until you reach a small Japanese garden at the end. I could go on and on and on, but I don't want this to be one of Carl's nine-minute videos. If you are ever in Japan and you'd love to see a real Japanese city, experience the convenience of a hotel right across from the train station, have direct access to an amazing view of Mount Fuji, experience authentic Japanese temples and parks while absorbing the Japanese culture, Mishima is a great spot to visit. The city of Mishima, Japan is extraordinary. And it's one of the most misunderstood and underestimated cities in all of Japan, especially during the first week of April. I want you to take my advice. If you're coming to Japan during the very first week of April, when the cherry blossoms are in full bloom and the weather is absolutely picture perfect, spend some time in Mishima, Japan. Okay? You will not regret it. I guarantee it. Now, as always, we provide helpful information and videos and links and photos underneath this video. But as always on our website, there's the Contact Us button. Click on it. We're happy to help. We want to encourage you to come here, especially to a city like this during the cherry blossom season in April. Okay? Please contact us. We want to help you out. For JourneyToJapan.com, I'm Carl Rosa. Thanks for watching.